Yeah, what's going on, everybody? It is B. Avery, and I am coming to you today, right now, excited as hell. Yes, I uh, put a video up earlier this year, about last week, my top 10 most anticipated movies of 2018. And of course, you probably already know what it is. It's Black Panther. If you saw the thumbnail, if you saw the title to this video, you know that I bought my tickets. I am going to be seeing this multiple times opening weekend. Um, the first time I'm going to see it is Thursday at 7 p.m. And then uh, turning around the next day, Friday at 7 p.m. as well. So excited. I got my tickets right here for uh, Cinemark IMAX. Uh, yeah, IMAX Theater, 7 p.m., February the 15th, 7 p.m., like I said. I got I was one of the first, like, I bought these, um, I bought these the first Monday that they went on sale uh, during the college uh, football game. Um, I got a notification that tickets was on sale. I stopped what I was doing, got on the computer, you know, put in my little gift card information because, you know, I got some gift cards for Christmas for the movies because, you know, people, my friends and family know I love movies. And I got the best seat in the house. I, I got the uh, IMAX, the last row in the back dead center middle. So, like, that is, like, the best seat in the whole house. And I'm really excited because... Before I bought my tickets, I wasn't too sure if the film was going to be shot, or like certain scenes were going to be shot in IMAX cameras. And there was somebody in my uh, comment section on one of my videos that kindly let me know. I forgot your name. So whoever that is, I really do appreciate it. But I uh, looked up a report like after that and it was like, yeah, 26 percent of the movie is going to be shot with IMAX cameras. And, you know, you may be like, OK, that's no big deal. It's just 26 percent. You know, but hey, that's OK, because I know that those uh, those particular scenes um, are going to be action field scenes. And so, you know, I'm just really excited that the image is going to expand during those scenes. We're going to get a nice crisp, crisp picture, nice, great sound, going to have great cinematography, cinematography, all that. I'm so excited and I can't even talk right now. And the movie is still slightly over a month away. So I'm really excited about that uh, because, you know, uh, if you know IMAX, uh, there's not even like really one movie per year that comes out with IMAX you know like Christopher Nolan has done IMAX films Michael Bay and um, you know that's pretty much it uh, what movie was it I think it was um, Doctor Strange they kind of had they kind of converted a few of their um, uh, movies over to with with IMAX and also Thor Ragnarok they they had a few but really like Transformers 2 3 and 4 had IMAX dark the Dark Knight the Dark Knight Rises uh, Dunkirk um, Interstellar and maybe like one other film so it's just not that often now later on this year in may comes when we get avengers infinity war that whole entire movie is going to be shot with imax cameras and i can't wait for that but right now we're talking about black panther so i got my tickets right here black panther cinemark uh, IMAX 7 p.m. best seat in the house. I can't wait. And then tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but the day after that, the actual day is released, February 16th. Got my AMC uh, tickets right here for AMC Dolby Prime, and I, I call it Dolby Prime right now. It's called AMC Dolby. When it first came out, it was called AMC Prime, and that's when you have like some of the best sound in the game. But now they just call it AMC Dolby. I like AMC Dolby Prime just because I like it. Just you know has a better ring. To it or whatever so i'm really really excited guys um as you can tell i cannot freaking wait we are barely 30 days over uh due for this movie this is my not just my most anticipated movie in uh this year it's my most anticipated movie in life black people have never been represented like this on a big block uh, buster uh, production with a budget at, at the very minimum of at least one hundred and thirty million dollars. Um, I'm pretty sure that Marvel Studios Disney did not go under that because the cheapest movie that they've made and since Iron Man that came out in 2008 was Ant-Man at one hundred and thirty million dollars. So they wouldn't go under that. This budget is probably at one hundred and fifty million. I tried to look up the budget, uh, but they didn't have that available. Let me try to look up that now just to see if um, it's posted anywhere. Because sometimes, like, when you go to boxofficemojo.com, they will have that information. But sometimes they want. They, I said, some, yeah, sometimes they won't. I said sometimes they want. Black Panther production budget. Let's see what we got here. I'm not going to take forever trying to look this up either. You know, if I don't just see it real quick. We're just going to move on. And yeah, but 
I don't think they're going to go under 130 million. That would be crazy. You know, I'm just going to throw, you know, a dart at the wall and say 150 million. Um, so, you know, I, I can't freaking wait for this movie. Now, like every year I see pretty much uh, every year I see at least one movie that I love three times in theaters. 2012 with the Avengers. I saw that three times in theaters, not open a weekend of the Dark Knight. When that came out in 2008, I saw that. Uh, two times opening weekend Thursday and Saturday let's see uh, Iron Man 3 I didn't see that uh, I, I think I saw that twice in theaters 2014 I did see Captain America Winter Soldier three times in theaters 2015 I did see Avengers Age of Ultron three times in theaters 2016 Captain America Civil War I did see that three times in theaters and uh, last year 2017 I didn't see uh, I didn't see uh, a movie three times in theaters I saw Wonder Woman twice in theaters I saw Thor Ragnarok twice in theaters I saw Justice League twice in theaters and I saw Spider-Man Homecoming twice in theaters and I only saw I only saw I think only saw Guardians of the Galaxy once in theaters so last year 2017 I did not see uh, a movie three times in theaters um, and each year that I just each film that I just named over the past few years that I saw three times in theaters, I, it was never in the same weekend. It would usually be the opening night for Thursday and then maybe that following Saturday. And then I would wait maybe two or three weeks or something like that or a month or something like that. Then see it again. Um, I, I remember I think Captain America Winter Soldier. I think I may have saw that four times in theaters, like tw- like Thursday, Saturday, waited a couple of weeks. And then like months later, like two or three months later, I saw it like at the dollar movie. So I don't know if you count the dollar movie, but Black Panther, I'm definitely going to see three times in theaters. Probably, I don't know if I'm going to see it three times in theaters opening weekend, but hey, I want this movie to make money. I want it to perform well because when studios are when they're trying to make more movies and sequels and things like that, they don't listen. They don't listen to the critics. They don't listen to the fans. They don't listen to comments or anything like that. They listen to that box office. They listen to them dollars and any studio makes the majority of their return on the opening weekend and they make about 65 to 70 percent of their opening weekend so you they always want the opening weekend to be the best and then like the theaters themselves they get the other other por- portion of the pie like you know 35 percent and the longer the film is in theaters the the the, um, the ratio changes so it may start off like the first week or two that the studio gets 70 percent and the uh the theater owners get like 30 but then the next week it may jump down to 65 35 then 60 40 then you know 55 45 50 50 and then so on and so on and so on each party is still making money but every studio wants to, to have the biggest opening weekend and i want to contribute to that so i got my my um, tickets right here for Thursday at 7 p.m. I got my tickets right here for Friday at 7 uh, Yeah, Friday at 7 p.m. I was like, man, Brent, I'm going to just do a big. I'm going to see this four times, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But then I was like, okay, let, let get, you know, let's jump back to reality here. You know, if the, if the, I hope the, if the movie sucks, then I ain't going to be doing that. But, you know, uh, I, I, it can't suck. I mean, like, it may not be the best movie in the world, of course. It may not be the best movie in the MCU, but I really seriously doubt that this movie is just going to suck. I mean, be at least be great. I mean, I think I think it is. Uh, it, it's just too much riding on this. I think Ryan Coogler and uh, family and friends at Marvel and his uh, his crew that he brought over from uh, the Creed movie. I think they know that, but I'm, I'm, I'm really... Um, it, it can't suck, but if this movie is everything I want it to be, if this movie is like... You know, it blows my expectations away, and I'm just sitting there, just like, oh my god, like, I'm up here knocking stuff off the wall, just like, oh, you know, man, this is like a dream come true. I may see this three times open the weekend, and that's okay. Uh, whether you think that's crazy or not, I could give, I, I could give a crap. What you say? Because you know, this is what I want to do. This is my escapism. Yes, I am going to escape in this movie into Wakanda uh, for a few hours on Thursday and Friday. And it is okay. It is okay to escape, guys. Don't be afraid to be a geek. Don't be afraid to be a nerd. You can escape all you want to, as long as when you are done escaping, you get back 
to business. Don't, don't be escaping because you just want to run from reality in the real world. And it's like, oh, I don't want to face the truth of my situation and things like, no, no, no. You mean, if you're a little kid, you got time to, ha you know, do all that when you're a little kid. But, you know, go ahead and escape, man. You know, if you like reading books, I like reading books. If you like reading movies and TV shows and knitting and going to go fly a kite and going to concerts, do what you do. You know, uh, you know, this is my dinosaur. They say, don't, lo don't lose your dinosaur. Like, I'll show you what my dinosaur is. I don't want to show you that yet. You know, this is my dinosaur right here. Okay. I love comics. I'm not ashamed of that. I love martial arts. I'm not ashamed of that. This is what I love. You know what I'm saying? I, I love I love comic books. I love martial arts. And I love black people because I'm black. You know what I'm saying? I identify with them the most. And we getting all this bunched up into one and one movie. We ain't never had nothing like this before. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? We finna represent this thing. We finna represent this thing. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And, uh, yeah, I, I can't freaking wait, guys. I can't freaking wait. So, yeah, man, I can't wait for this movie. What I'm going to do right now, oh, let me go ahead and show you this. I got my Black Panther uh, Ultimate Avengers 2 right here that came out in 2006. Also got my Marvel Knights Black Panther uh, animated series or whatever. That's pretty dope, too. Um, you know, that came on BT. So what I'm doing right now, guys, I am taking both my tickets. I'm going to fold it once like this and fold this on the, once like that. Let me get the receipts over here for the tickets, too. I can't even fold no paper. Goodness gracious. Okay. My goodness. Let's fold over. Okay. Got the receipts for one of the one of the the AMC. And so what I'm doing right now is taking this Ziploc bag. <laughs> putting my movie tickets in the Ziploc bag. And guess what, guys? Guess where I'm gonna put it? All right. We got <laughs> I got my Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 1 briefcase, baby. Protected by the power of the Tesseract. Yes. All right. We're going to open this thing up right here. Uh-huh. We're going to pull out these files. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do it like this. I don't I don't need, uh, well, this is inactive. We don't want that one. We don't want Agent Romanoff. We don't want this other inactive file. We don't want the Agent Coulson. What I got two of these for? I got another Agent Romanoff. But what we're going to do right here is we're going to take this shield security level or above required. And we're going to open this thing up like this. And we're going to take out this black confidential folder. You know what I'm saying? Can you read that? So we're going to take the envelope and open it up. And we're going to take the tickets. And we're going to put it in the confidential folder. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to fold it like that. And then we're going to take the envelope, put it back in the shield folder. Yeah, and put this mug back in here like this. Can y'all see? Do I need to raise this up? Now, hold on, hold on. I got to get more. I should have been more organized. We're going to do it right. So y'all can see me put this thing in here. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me move this over here. So, yeah, you got that right there. Putting that in here. Now, you still probably can't see, but that's okay. Yeah, there, there we go right there. Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 1 briefcase. And we got the Tesseract. See, the movie, the Tesseract that they got in the movie, the one that Loki is, oh, snap. The one that Loki's holding, he going like this in the trailer. That's not the real one. This is the real one right here. On the battery, probably dead. Let me see. Oh man, the battery dead. God dog it. You're messing up my video. <laughs> Come on, work. All right, it's flashing. I don't know if you can see that, but it's flashing to me. <laughs> oh man, I'm having fun. But yeah, man, I got my tickets in there and I'm closing that thing. And uh, yeah, we got my ticket safe. And we just gonna uh, put this away. Right here, but no, I'm, I'm acting silly, guys. I'm just having a whole bunch of fun. Um, I am so super duper excited for this movie. If you could not tell already, like seriously, man, this is uh, I've never looked forward to. I look, I've never looked more forward to a movie uh, than I have now with Black Panther. Um, uh, and I, I didn't even grow up knowing really who Black Panther was. Um, my growing up, my favorite comic book character was Spider Man, and with Bet with with uh DC, well Spider Man with Marvel. 
and with DC Comics, it was Batman. And I really just really, I mean, I always kind of heard of Black Panther, but, it, you know, I heard, you know, around the way and da, 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 but just never, and I knew who he was. But it really came to uh, came to me about 12 or 13 years ago with, um, you know, with this movie right here. I just didn't know much about the character. And I fell in love. I'm like, oh, snap, man. This this is who Black, they've been talking about all these years, Black Panther. And um, just, you know, more and more and more, I just became more and more interested. And then when he debuted in Civil War or whatever on that roof, psh- you know, I was just like, oh, okay, this this is going to be nice. And they made the announcement, was it like September 2013 or 2014? Uh, you know, that they were, you know, the phase three, uh, the phase three announcement. I was like, oh, we finna get a Black Panther movie in this thing with Vibranium? You know, uh, so yeah, that, that's dope. He's not an African-American character. He's African, but you know, hey, you know, black people worldwide, what's up? But guys... Um, I was gonna say that's my opinion. That's not my opinion. That's just me acting crazy on film, having fun. You know what I'm saying? With you guys, my subscribers, and anybody else that want to subscribe. You know, um, I love comic books. Like I said, I love martial arts. I love Black Panther. I love all that. I love Marvel. And so I'm looking forward to this movie, man. I've said that a thousand times. February 16th. It cannot get here fast enough. So I'm going Thursday and Friday night. I hope I'm lucky to uh, be able to see the film early. Uh, but there's no guarantee for that. Definitely. Um, only guarantee is if you're a press and I am not remotely close to being press on Disney. I'm maybe like a little, I may get a little invitation here or there, you know, for smaller films or, or things like that. And I talked about that in another video, but, uh, still I may be able to go to the early screening, like for the regular audience that's mixed in with the press. And you're probably like, man, how, how do you, how do you get access to those? Well, you can Google it. Um, because that's how I figured it out. Somebody, I started doing, I start, you know, I started doing film reviews and things like this, just for fun, like years ago on Facebook. And I used to, I, I just happened to have a job to where I was off Monday through Thursday and, um, and I was off Friday and off Sunday and I worked Saturday. So Friday I would spend all day at the movie theater, just reviewing, you know, watching all the movies and I will go home and, you know, put like a, a paragraph or two up for each movie. Somebody's was like, Brandon, don't you think, so, you know, don't you think you should, you're, you know, pretty decent in what you do? Because I didn't start out doing the videos. I, you know, a little Facebook here and there. You know, don't you pretty decent at what you're doing? You know, have you thought about trying to see the movies before they come out? And, um, and it was a young, beautiful lady that told me that, uh, you know, I was really interested in her at the time. Um, I was like, you know what? Yeah, I do need to try to do that. And I was just like, you know, how do I find about early screenings? And I just went to Google and I was like, oh, OK. And I found it. And, you know, I kind of just kind of learned from there and, you know, and went on, went on. Um, but uh, I'm having so much fun with this video. But, um, yeah, guys, I'm so looking forward to this movie. I can't freaking wait. I've said that a thousand times. And, uh, you know, are you excited for Black Panther? I'm sure you are if you're watching this video. What are you most excited about to see? Um, I don't have anything in particular. I just want a great story. I want, I, I usually I would say great action, but I, I want a great story better than action. I mean, you know, action is great, you know, because Civil War has some, the, the action in Civil War was better than the, uh, than the story in Civil War. But, you know, I just want a great story. I just want some great representation. Uh, you know, because we've never had a film. Black people don't get a film like this once a year. This is like the first in film cinematic history. And it's just like, man, you know, so uh, February 16th is going down. Uh, thank you guys for checking out my video. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell so you can be notified. Um, if you don't like the video, hey, that's your fault. Uh, like I said, subscribe to my channel. Uh, what else do I use to say? <laughs> do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. Um, go to my website, check me out there, bookmark it. Also, look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All that good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all that down in the description box below. But guys, thank you again for tuning in to my video, my opinion, my excitement for the Black Panther movie of me buying my tickets. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And this is just, well, ha, yeah, still, just my opinion. Peace.